We're here at Jollibee's, Philippines' biggest Man, I don't like guys. We're here at <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to a special episode of Fung Bros Food. We're in Los Angeles right now and we're here with our Filipino friend, Ryan Benson. What's up guys? We're here at Jollibee's, the biggest Filipino food chain in the nation. There's over 1,100 locations of Jollibee's worldwide. Most of them are in the Philippines, but they're expanding across the globe right now. And we're here, right here in LA to order everything on the menu. Chicken, burgers, spaghetti. Not just chicken, chicken joy. Chicken joy. Yo, you guys ready? Jollibee's, let's, let's go. go. Okay, we got the entire <laughs> spread in front of us. They're really nice. They're so nice. The service is legit. Yeah. Like they say, hey, jolly day. Have a jolly day. Have, have a jolly, jolly day. day. Jolly afternoon. Welcome to Jollibee. Yo, they're really jolly. It's like Filipinos in general, like we all have like kind of like a sunny disposition. Like Filipinos have always been like the most extroverted. Hey man, as a Chinese person, I can confirm that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like we got to start least. with the Filipino spaghetti or the jolly spaghetti. The jolly spaghetti is not like your typical spaghetti. You know, at Jollibee's here, they kind of make it differently. The sauce is made from like a banana ketchup, and instead of like normal like meatballs and whatnot, they have hot dog pieces in here. Yo, Andrew, I don't mean to call you out, but I didn't get a hot dog. Yo, David, I'm not gonna lie. There wasn't that many hot dog pieces. My bad. Jolly spaghetti. Let's try this. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. So it is like very sweet, a little bit sweeter, but you get that like little bit of like saltiness from the hot dog. I will say that a lot of spaghettis in Asia are not quite this sweet, but share a similar profile. I think it's underrated that you can get spaghetti at a fast food spot in America, and it's from the Filipino chain. Facts? Someone prove us wrong in the comments below. Yeah, someone prove us wrong. Check. Yo, listen, check if check. there is a fast food Italian like... Hey, you're forgetting about Gino's Express in Philly. South Philly, Gino's Express. Guys, yo, spaghetti was a great starter. Yo, I think we gotta move on to the chicken right. joy though. This is the pride of Jollibee. This right here is why I go to Jollibee's. The spicy chicken joy is my favorite okay. fast food fried chicken. Before the original. Before, before the original. It's interesting, you're talking about fried chicken, burgers, spaghetti, hot dogs, pancit, all at the same spot. Oh, chicken, chicken joy. joy. Even though I know gravy's a big thing. Whoa. <laughs> You got that's hella good. I'm sorry, KFC. I'm sorry, Popeyes. Mm. Chicken Joy. Oh my goodness. What? This is the best fried chicken. I'm pouring the gravy on. Oh my gosh. I have a pool of gravy inside of my Chicken Joy now. I'm so glad we came here. That's insane with the gravy, bro. That's up there for sure. That really is good. That is up there. Anytime I go to a Jollibee's, the chicken's always so juicy and succulent, no matter what. It has got to be some of the best fast food fried chicken, bar none. I would say the spicy one has more flavor, but what's the one that goes better with the gravy? It's the original. Delicious though. I give, at the end of the day, Chicken Joy, five out of five. Wow. They don't call it Chicken Joy for no reason. This guy, Mr. Tan, when he was inventing Jollibee's, he knew what made it joyful. I give the Chicken Joy five out of five. I give the spaghetti. Joy before I fry. It's, it, it's funny, it kind of grows on you. You have to get over the fact that it doesn't taste like real spaghetti. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't, but it doesn't mean it's not good. Try this mash. Corn. corn. I have a lot of flavor. I, uh, like mashed potatoes and corn, like no matter where you go, it's gonna be good. But chicken. All right, so we got the burger steak here. It comes with like their special sauce and then mushrooms and then we got the fries with it too. What burger steak is what? Like a... It's a hamburger patty. So it's kind of like a local mocha. It's like a local mocha. Burger, burger steak, steak with, with mushrooms. mushrooms. The sauce that they have on the burger steak, besides the chicken joy, this sauce like always brought me back. I'm not as big of a fan of just a straight burger patty, but dipping the fries in that sauce is fire. We didn't even get any drinks. The pineapple flow. Is that a boba? They got boba here? Oh, my panda. Got the Ube Ube. Pro Cooler. Cheers, guys. Cheers, man. Have a jolly day. Have a jolly day. <laughs> when it's in the name, you can't do much but say it. The bun. <laughs> oh, your bun got taken away from you. Protein style. Hilarious. The Aloha, Aloha burger. burger. Yo, I, I was impressed to see this. They have the mm. bacon, pineapple. Wow. That's really sweet with the pineapple. This is a brioche bun? Brioche bun. You've 
Alright, compared to like a lot of other fast food like restaurants, I feel like there's always menu like items on the menu that you don't want to order. I feel like when I come to Jollibee, everything is just good. Is it because you're Filipino? <laughs> I was, I was like, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I got too many relationships. I'll give that a 3.5 out of 5. I would say that one for the uniqueness, I wanna give it a 4 out of 5. Just on how having the burst of sweet pineapple. In Filipino culture, condiments are huge. huge. Whether it's banana ketchup or Suka. It's sweet chili sauce, whatever it is for the lechon, the. I think that's what Suka's the vinegar. Right? Suka is the vinegar. Suka, the vinegar. But you just dip it, just dip it all in. Chicken, Chicken sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> mm. Mmm, whoa, what about the garlic all up in there? If there's one thing about Filipinos, we love garlic. Yeah. We put garlic in everything. It's definitely one of the traits of Filipino cuisine I love is the amount of garlic. And the gravy, you gotta do the gravy test, everybody. Make sure you do a test. gravy test. Mm. I thought the gravy did something. Oh yeah. It's a burst of savoriness, but it's not overpowering. It only enhances. I'm not gonna lie, it might be because of the amount of sodium or MSG in it, but it enhances everything. That was good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Adobo rice. Obviously, you've been to some uh, Filipino's house before, but the one thing that their mom like always makes and like people always ask for is like chicken adobo. Adobo, adobo rice. rice. Mm. Okay. That was really good. Oh. It was nice, but oh, oh. oh. Mm. Andrew, Andrew, you are treating that like truffle butter. I don't know if it's the jolliness or the gravy, but it's just everything's good. <laughs> everything's good. Everything's good. Let's. We got to try this. Palabak? So Palabak um, Fiesta, it's gonna have bihon noodles in it, uh, shrimp, um, meat, eggs. It's been more uh, traditionally, like Palabak is a traditional dish. And like what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to get like a little citrusy hit. We put it on the, uh, the other Palabak, put a little bit of lemon juice, it kind of brings out like, nice. yeah. This doesn't have lemon juice on it, that one does. That one does. But I would say this totally looks like that dish that's sitting in like the heated tin, the tins, yeah. The big tins at the parties that everybody's grabbing at, so let's try it. Palabak. Mm. Oh, I, I did like not it. expect that. I like it, shrimpy, shrimpy. but with depth. Right. Of all the things that we have, the flavors were kind of very savory, but this one gives you that shrimpy flavor, which is something you really don't expect from a fast food spot. No, it isn't, and like, you also get like the little bits of like chicharron that, that are on top, like mm. the crunchy bits, like, yep. it's really doing a lot for me texture wise. All right, now I want to try the one with lemon because I could see how lemon would fit nicely on that. Right. Halibut with, with lemon. lemon. Whoa, mm. Mm. bro. No. Yeah, with the lemon. The lemon has this palabak. No. Tasted totally different. I, I give this a four out of five. Yeah. Okay, I got a nice little chicken tender right here. Chicken, chicken dippers, dippers, not chicken tenders. So you a honey mustard or ranch guy for your tenders? Ranch. Honey mustard all the way. Mmm. Mmm. Need a little kick. A little kick. Mmm. I just think to have a array of dishes. I will say this. For a fast food spot, this got dishes because, think about it, you walk in here and you don't know that Jollibee's is from the Philippines, right? right? You just be like, wow, they do spaghetti a little differently. Oh, they do burgers a little differently. Oh, they do chicken just a little differently. What's up with this spot? And then you're like, oh, it's from Asia. It's from the Philippines. So that, that explains a lot. It's great that like everything is here because it gives you like a little snapshot of home, especially for all the LA immigrants, uh, all the Filipino immigrants out here in LA. It's like having a little taste of home. Jolly, Jolly hot dog. dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's like a sweet, like relish. I'm, I'm so confused by this. It kind of tastes like those ballpark franks with the cheese in the middle, but deconstructed with the cheese on the outside. Yeah, but I, I can't tell what that sauce is. It doesn't matter. It's getting the gr the gravy treatment. It's getting the gravy treatment. <laughs> oh, I don't want to say everything needs to be dunked in gravy. But it's not wrong. Last but not least, we have the desserts. You know, you know why you know the Jollibee's is, is gonna have good ice cream? Jollibee's originally started as, as an ice, ice cream parlor. It started as an ice cream parlor in the Philippines originally. Yeah. Peach mango, mango pie. pie. It's not the gravy treatment. It's the ice cream treatment. Oh. Oh, man. Here we got the halo halo, of course, the classic, and then uh, ice cream sundae. We have the quintessential Filipino dessert. Yup. Halo halo. And for those of you who don't know, halo halo means mix mix. So a lot of people mess up halo halo. When they get it, they just eat it straight up. That's raw. You gotta mix raw. it up. Mix that. Sh
I have my own method of doing it. I like to go like this and really get like the little chunks like from the bottom up and kind of just like bring it up through like that. Hollow, hollow. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes like childhood. Shout out to the hollow. I think the true ice cream roots of Jollibee's is on full display oh. here. In Indonesian, mix mixes got them, got them. Yeah. They have so many different cultures like influencing them that yeah. it, like everything kind of comes together in their food. Actually, right, I feel right, more right. than anything. You know what's crazy? Because I think when you think of a fast food chain coming from Asia and making its way in America, legitimately, which Jollibee's has, you would think maybe like a Japanese chain like Moss Burger or something. Right. But really, Jollibee's made it first. Filipinos have such a such a pride for like Filipino things. So like you really kind of have this cult following that follow Jollibee's like from the Philippines. When people look at Jollibee's fried chicken, I think the first thing that comes to mind is like, oh, okay, they copied America. So that's why I think for Asians, we eat so much fried chicken of some version so that when we get the American version, whether it's KFC or Jollibee's or McDonald's, we're just like, oh, this is like a version of fried chicken I already like. Favorite My favorites? Chicken joy. I thought the way the breading encapsulated the drumstick, it was, hey. I, I'm just not saying hey, the thigh hey. piece wasn't good, I just thought it was a shape and texture matter. The, all right, all right, all right. So first of all, when it comes to the chicken joy, like I said, spicy by itself or original in the gravy. Okay, I think that's how you gotta eat it. I would say the Aloha Burger was delicious. I, I, I like that one, I had fun with that one. The, the, yeah, the Aloha Burger is kind of my sleeper pit. I'm all about the spicy chicken joy. Like, fair, fair. I, if I'm eating my fried chicken, I don't want to dunk it in the gravy. I like to have it like nice and crispy. I'm sorry, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't apologize to me. I'll I ain't I'll say apologize. what you want to say about the people who dunk everything in gravy. Say what you want to say about those type of people. Whoever they are and whatever that implicates about them. Um, nah, they are. Right. <laughs> they are. Right. I guess some big picture takeaways. Jollibee's what do you what do you hope for Jollibee's future in America? I mean, they're expanding. I think because Jollibee's has such a cult following as it is, Cut. every single time a Jollibee has opened up, at least on the East Coast, it's been a big deal. Like it's made news. Yeah, man. Because of like the cult following and like the fact that their fried chicken is just so good. It's legit. Like, yeah. I don't care who you are, unless you're vegetarian, <laughs> ain't no way you're turning down some fried right, chicken, right, right, especially right, right. when done right. Yeah, I think they're gonna be do. I think they're gonna do well. Wait, did I you just say that they were gonna have a jolly time? time? <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. In the comments below, let us know if there's any other spots that you want us to go to and try the entire menu of, because it's fun, and we'll do it. If it's not too crazy. But let us know if there's any other unique chains out there, spots in the area. Thank you so much for watching that. Leave the comments below. Give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check out Ryan. And also, turn on your notifications. Until next time, we out. Peace. Thank you for visiting Jollibee. Please come again.